आज़ुबिल्लाशैतरिम बसमीम् अल्लाम वरक इन द नाम ऑफ ऑल माइटी अल्लाह द मोस्ट ग्रेशियस द मोस्ट मर्सफुल ओमनीपोटेंट ओमनी प्रजेंट वट एंड वट नाट एंड द लॉर्ड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड Today is 10th September 2020 dear learners this is Sadia Qayyum once again you are history teacher in government high school Hanga it is my pleasure once again to eliminate on the chapter 10th that is buildings paintings and books i would try my level best to come up to your expectations during the discharge of my lecture epics now you have the remains from the various epics now what are epics epics are the long compositions of the heroic stories of men and women during that time these also included the stories about god there are two famous south epic epics the first is the tamil epic which is uh, silapadi karam that was written by ilingo it is a dialogue between kovilan and madhavi uh, kangi was the wife of kovilan she convinced her husband to move to another city and later on they moved they moved from uh, pohar to madhavi pohar was kaveri uh, patnam at that time so they moved from kaveri uh, patnam to Mad- uh, madurai Mad- and at madurai's court kovalan was wrongly accused of theft when kangi came to know of the fact that her husband has been wrongly accused uh, she got so furious she destroyed the entire city of madurai and that is what forms the basis of this tamil epic the ne- next epic is uh, Ma- mani le uh, mani melikan mani melikani and this is written by uh, satnar it was around 1400 years ago that is again a story of the daughter of the kovalan and madhavi the next is kalidas who wrote the poem uh, megdat uh, who was kalidas uh, was a court poet of chandragupta second in his poem on megdat the idea was to focus on the monsoon clouds and these clou- uh, monsoon clouds acted as a messenger to transmit message after these epics and the various epics that come up there were books that were written now books were in various forms we already saw the vedas and we talked about puranas puranas were one of the old forms of these books where you had the stories of gods and goddesses which gods uh, mainly the hindu gods such as vishnu shiva durga and parvati which were written in very simple sanskrit um, so that uh, these could be understood even by the common women and the shudras during that time then there were the famous composition in the north during that time namely mahabharat written by vedyas and ramayan written by valmiki in sanskrit ramayana ramayan was basically the story of ayodhya ayodhya and ram uh, ram it is a uh, the story of the fight between ram and ravan 
and finally how ram won the battle and came back to ayodhya which was the capital of khosala at that time then there are various smaller stories which are jatakas and panch uh, tantras that has been written again Mm. again india played a major role in providing the basis for science development so you had zero that has been invented by india then you had arya but arya but but's contribution has been known both as a mathematician and astronomer so he wrote in sanskrit a book which is known as arya bhatiyam and a few things he worked around in astronomy that are important is the concept of day and night uh, is caused by the rotation of the earth then he explained that sunrise and sunset occurs every day and it is a kind of daily phenomena and he also explained um, the cause of the various eclipses that takes place now as we saw in all the chapters of the history after each and every chapter that we discuss that there is an international scenario that comes up so here what comes up is the invention of the paper now it is very interesting to note paper originated in china similar to the silk and sam as the silk china tried to protect it for long so it was kept as a secret for many many years until it went on to korea around 1400 years ago then uh, from korea it transported Uh, it was transported to japan and finally the world came to know about paper from baghdad where you had the origin that was seen around 1800 years ago however the first invention was done in china by kai lun so that was about the invention of paper and global scenario while we talked about when the inventions were taking place in india similarly there were other um, discoveries that were going on worldwide uh, with this we completed uh, today's lecture tomorrow we will discuss the textual questions inshallah till then stay blessed assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh